Hi Pisces, it is Monday today, April 22nd, 2024. I keep picking up messages for you guys today from the other side. There you are right there, Pisces, the Queen of Cups. Um, the tarot cards are a map of our lives. It's the fool's journey, right? And I'm feeling like spirits are pushing me. I keep getting this message to show you where you're at on this fool's journey. Where you're at on this map. Let's look at that today, Pisces. Let's find out where you are on this map. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Okay, so you have the Five of Cups and you have the Two of Cups. No, I'm sorry. This is the Five of Swords. I don't know why I said the Five of Cups. This is the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. I feel like there was someone in your life here. It may have been a brother, a sister, a parent, a lover. But there's someone here that was a very, very significant in your life in the past that you where you experienced some type of loss. This could have been a death. It was very, very difficult on you. Yeah, see, that's why you have strength and you have the magician. So you have Leo energy here with strength and then you have the magician. You have an inner strength inside of you, Pisces. You are the magician here, okay? And um, whatever you've been through in the past, I'm going to go back and clarify the Two of Cups. But whatever you've been through in the past, wherever you came from, it's very, very different than anybody that you've ever known. And it's actually something that, that you can't put into words. You've kind of walked away from it. You wouldn't know how to put it into words. I feel like a lot of, you know, your past, your childhood has been forgotten. Okay, so you have the Sun, Leo energy again, the Five of Pentacles in the center of your reading, and then you have the Three of Swords. The Sun has come into your life, apparently, Pisces. Something here that makes you very, very happy, it's a healing energy, has come to your life. But with the Five of Pentacles here, there's, there's something here inside of you that hasn't healed yet. But on this journey, in this lifetime, these things that happen to you, they happen to you for a reason. To for you, enable for you to have the strength to be this magician. And the sun has come into your life, but for some reason you're still experiencing the feeling of a sense of loss and emptiness inside. Heartbreak. What do Pisces need to know? You have the Ten of Pentacles coming into your future. And then you have the Fool. This is Aries energy. <coughs> Spirits want you guys to know where you're at on this journey. Alright, you have the Lovers. You have Death. And you have the Eight of Cups here. You have a choice before this journey ends 
death is Scorpio energy and you have Gemini energy with the lovers. The lovers is a choice, a choice to how this journey ends. Before you walk away, before this life ends for you, um, your destiny is not set in stone, okay? On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. You have some type of gift inside of you, Pisces, with this Ace of Cups. It's a gift that no one else has like you. This is special. And um, the Queen of Pentacles is next to it. So this Queen of Pentacles is representing you. And right now, I feel like you're you're looking at this this gift. It's like you've been on some type of journey where you've been looking within, but um, and you found some introspection. I think I'm saying that right. You found some clarity within yourself, but it's time for a ripple effect to occur. And I'm seeing that it's going to be happening very soon here in your energy. Um, it, it's even going to surprise you. Because I see the people around you, the people in your life. I see you, these relationships becoming stronger. I'm trying to figure out how to put it into words. I see relationships... Um, being taken to a whole new level of this new sense of clarity that you have in the future. This is your family. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is your destination here. But only if you choose the right direction. You need to choose the right direction. You have the Fool next. So you're going to be in this energy here i see you going in the right direction you know with the ten of pentacles and the fool you need to let go of the the difficulties of the past in order for you to um walk into your true destiny here with the ten of pentacles the place the i want to say winning the game okay the game of life what your true purpose is what you're really here for because I'm seeing everything leading up here to you discovering your true purpose. And when you discover this true purpose of yours in this lifetime, everything's going to come very easy to you. It's not going to be a struggle anymore like it was in the past. You are the magician. You can create anything that you want. And... You have a special superpower here that is a gift. It's like the hand of God coming out of the sky there with the Ace of Cups that is given to you. It's special. It's unique to you that you've carried around this whole time and you didn't know it was there. It was like you were focusing outward instead of focusing inward. I feel like I have more to say about that because it's it's so it seems like my words are so vague to that but um there's something here about letting go of like expectations from the outside world that is yet to come where you're you, you are not in any type of energy here where you are in your ego or anything like that. It's a great, a great introspection where what matters to you is this growth inside of you. Tell me why um, the Two of Cups is here. It's almost like you're you're coming face to face with yourself. You're beginning to see something. That's why you have the two of cups, the sun. See, you're starting to see something. 
you're looking in the mirror here starting to see and it's taking you to this ten of pentacles tell me why the two of cups is here see there's something here that you haven't seen you've been looking past it here's the ace of cups this cup it's coming out of the clouds it's coming out of the sky right there you've known that you've had this gift it's kind of like in your peripheral vision um you've thought about it but you haven't really completely brought this to its full potential there's like a lot of growth on you here in your work that you do but it hasn't come into its full potential yet tell me why the two of cups is here you have the three of pentacles and you have the three of cups yeah you've only just begun you know this journey on this map you still have a long ways to go pisces these are threes all right there are threes and it's it's kind of a long ways to a 10 and i don't mean in time i mean what is to come is going to be more more than silver and gold the gift that you have here i can't even put it into the words of silver gold riches no it's beyond beyond what you can imagine is where you're at right now is a three and you could feel comfortable in this position and so you're you're missing opportunities here with this gift that you have the next card you have is the five of swords it's like you're missing something. The Four of Cups is... The advice of this is be careful not to miss an opportunity. It's right there, but it's kind of like you're looking past it. There's another three right there, too. There's those three cups standing up. I feel like you've become content. Like, this is as good as it gets. I'm going to be happy. This is as good as it gets. But it's not. It's not, Pisces. What is meant for you is much, much more than where you're at right now. You're moving into the Ten of Pentacles. The next card you have is the Five of, of Swords. Tell me why the Five of Swords is here. Okay, Pisces, if you look, okay, so you're showing up here as the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you've done, you've done quite well for yourself. You're pretty confident in your energy, maybe comfortable financially. Um, but if we look down this next row here, because we're looking at the map of your life through the tarot cards, finding out where you're at. You have the five of swords the five of pentacles, and then you have the fool. So these two fives, the number five, represents change. All right? And um, the fool is right here. It's card zero in the tarot deck. It's letting go of some type of belief system that you have. These are swords. There's some type of thought in your mind that you have. And it has to do with you feel like you have a lack of something. This is going to come down suddenly, Pisces. The blindfold is going to come off your eyes. All right, you have the two of swords and you have the tower, both on the outside of these two energies. So there's something here that you don't see coming. All right, the two of swords is here. Um... You're looking past something. You're blindfolding yourself to it. You have a special gift that nobody else has. I don't know if there's a book that needs to be written. There's something here that needs to be accomplished. And if you look at the King of Swords, the Kings, the King of Swords is our thoughts and this is a king it's a very strong energy 
and you're looking straight at the seven of wands so you're feeling defensive about um about taking this blindfold off but it's about ready to fall off regardless you have the tower here this is the universe stepping in to wake you up to give you a big shake and the next card you have right here is you have strength and you have the magician you are the magician you can create illusions um and you have the strength that you've developed from the this fool's journey that you've been on the the circumstances that were given to you from the time you were born up until now tell me why strength and the magician are here i feel like you had to develop this strength to become the magician the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and you have the Seven of Cups. There you are on the bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. This is your secret power, Pisces. You've already lived all the other signs of the Zodiac, and you are the High Priestess. When you walk into a room, the energy in that room changes. It's like you are a light. You are the sun. And there's things here that are hidden that you see very, very clearly. You may take this gift for granted because you may assume everybody has this gift, but um, they don't. You see and hear things very, very clearly. You see the direction that things are going in. And the reason you're strong, the strength is here, and you're able to manifest anything that you want right now because this is where you're at on this map. You're very, very strong. You've already been through the struggles. You've already been through the pain. And... um you're at card one here the magician so you're about ready to to start a new journey you're looking at other options right now pisces with the seven of cups there's a bit of confusion here because you have been there's something here that ha, it's been a repeating thought in your head like something's missing, something's missing here, something's missing from my life. Um, what what is my purpose? What am what am I even here for? What is the reason? You feel blindfolded. You could have a hard time sleeping at night, but something here is changing in your energy right now, Pisces, because the sun is coming in. All right, you've already achieved something great. And become this magician. That's where you're at right here. And something's going to be revealed to you with the sun showing up next. Something's being illuminated very bright. Tell me why the sun is here. You have the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I feel like you feel like you've reached some type of darkness here, like a stop. Something here feels like it feels like you don't have any control over this, this thing in your life, this circumstance. It could be like you, like it could be some type of sickness or heartbreak. Um, there's something here though 
with these two energies, I mean, this person has like blood coming out of their back. There's something here with these two energies here that has you down. I feel like you were forced to go into the dark night of the soul. You, you really went through a period in your life here, Pisces, where, and it could have been over the past few years, you went through this, this period of your life where you had to close out the outside world. And when you did this, you you could have spent a lot of time alone. What people thought of you outside of you, it didn't really matter anymore. It kind of faded. But now the sun is coming in, all right? And it's coming in. You have this ace of rods here, and there, you've already seen a piece of this. Because there's already growth on this wand. The sun is coming in. And it's going to make this... Um, whatever you've been working on here. It's going to make it grow very rapidly now. Things are changing. Things are going to start moving very, very fast. This sun is full of light. The sunflowers are there. And the card underneath it brings you all the way up to the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like you're almost there. What you see right now, Pisces, is very small to where, to where you're actually going to end up here. In the center of your reading, right underneath this tower, you have the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay, so you have the King of Rods, the Knight of Swords, and you have Judgment. This Judgment is coming in right underneath the tower. This is why spirits wanted me to do this reading for you. Of finding out where you are on the map in the tarot. Because you have a tower moment here. And right underneath it you have judgment. A decision that needs to be made. Um, and this is a major arcana. This will change. This is going to have a ripple effect that changes your future. Your future outcome here. There's something here in the present moment where you feel emptiness, you feel sadness. Um, there's someone here in your energy. It's like their head is wrapped. You're looking down at them holding this person. This person is wounded. There's someone here in your energy where this person is wounded and you're holding them, you're comforting them. And you need to make a decision, a judgment call. And I feel like you've like you've been inconsistent about this one. You have the Knight of Swords energy. At at times you're you're running to this person's rescue. And at other times you're in this this mindset here where I'm determined. I'm going to walk away. So there's two different energies showing up here. And you, when you do decide to walk away, I don't know who this person is in your life. It could be a family member, a lover. It could be anything. But I see someone here that you're holding on to. Do you see it right there? There's someone here that you're holding on to. This person has a wand too, but there's no growth on their wand. See, and it's like you're, 
you're split here. At times you have this energy of, I'm strong enough, I'm going to walk away from this person and go on my own journey. And at other times, there's this inconsistent energy here where you're looking over at the three of swords, the pain that goes along with this. That whoever this person is, they have your heart. Let's find out what this pain is all about. Tell me why the three of swords is here. You have the ten of wands. The Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. Remember that Nine of Pentacles was you. You have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You got someone here in your energy, Pisces, that I feel this is a soulmate. You have the Six of Cups there. This is a soul connection. This person wants to be here in your life. They don't want to go any place. They want to be here for the long run with the King of Pentacles is here, but this person is damaged in some way. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. I feel like this person has very little to give you, Pisces. The Page of Cups is here, so it looks like this person has very little to give to you. And um, I feel like, I mean, we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. There's someone here that is learning from you. It's like they're watching you. And you're having a very huge impact on this person's life, whoever this person is. You have it together here, Pisces. You're showing up here as the Nine of Pentacles. This person is night energy. And they seem to be moving very, very slowly. They're coming from a wounded place. This person's not as far along spiritually as you are because I'm picking up a very spiritual energy here, but this is a soul connection. This is someone that before this lifetime, you, you and this person sat down and you would meet each other at this specific time and place. And there's some type of struggle that the two of you are going through. It shows up as the Ten of Wands. Like, I mean, there's, there's burdens here with the Ten of Wands, right? But there's a lot of green on these branches. There's a lot of growth. The two of you have already come a long ways together. I feel like you've known this soulmate, like you could have met this person like within the past couple years. And I really see whoever this person is, I see them showing up in the next card here. And so go ahead and leave me a negative comment, you guys who do that right now if you want to. But we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. This is love between the two, you and this person. And this is two people coming together here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is a marriage. Um, let's see if it's good. Let's see if it's right. I don't want to guide this This reading in any direction i want to look at your tarot cards look at as i split the deck right there you have the six of cups 
and it's like you've been fighting for this. Okay, the Nine of Wands is here. Let's find out what happens if you step through this door with whoever this soulmate is. Because I see the two of you coming together here. Okay. Spirits, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophants. This is a marriage. This is Taurus energy. And then you have judgment. This is a judgment call, a decision that you're going to make. Whether you want to put the work into this connection, this commitment, this person could ask you to marry them. Um, and you have judgment here. A major life decision. So this decision is going to be different for all of you guys. I'm sorry for saying that. It's just some people, if you mention love in a reading, I get comments of this is, you know, just terrible things. And I don't like it. God is love. Like I, like I said yesterday, God is love. And this is, this is love. Okay, and each one of you guys are experiencing this energy in a different way. This person is not exactly the same. And so your choice here is not going to be exactly the same for everyone. And so let's see what happens here because I, I feel like you're about ready to start a new journey with the soul connection here. You have the fool here. You're looking over at it. The question is right here. Judgment. Why is the fool here? I really feel like you've met a soul connection here in your life that's very strong, very significant. And I don't know what their purpose is here. Ooh, look at that. The devil. Capricorn energy. This doesn't have to be bad, but there's something here with the devil where the two of you are complimenting each other in some way, all right? <coughs> you give something to this person and they give something to you in exchange and this energy is very strong this is a major arcana it's very strong to you in your mind that um the reasons you're staying with this person um are for some pretty intense reasons um and so the two of you this soul contract it's left you in some type of comfortable position here Some of you will choose to stay here with this devil energy. Some of you will choose to leave and move into a place of calmer water is the six of swords. All right. And then you have the world. So a cycle closing out. This is a major decision in your life. You have someone here in your energy right now that is a soulmate. And I, I don't know what, what you're going to choose here because you have a choice. Even the next card, it says you have a choice here because you have the lovers. And you have an ending to the left of the lovers and to the right of the lovers. This is a card of, is this as good as it gets? Okay, the Eight of Cups is here. Something's missing within this connection with the soulmate. Something feels off, something's missing. All right, when you're in the Eight of Cups energy. And so your decision here is, this doesn't really feel like it's my 10 of Cups, but maybe this is as good as it gets. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stay here 
And then on the other side of this choice, you have, no, this is, this is over. I'm done. I'm leaving. Okay, so let me pick up these cards and let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. I didn't I wasn't expecting this this reading to go in this direction, but it's not my choice. I'm seeing a soulmate showing up here in your energy, Pisces. It's very significant to you. And regardless of what gender you are, the Queen of Pentacles is showing up as your energy like you're looking over at this. This is someone that you love obviously because you showed me the three of swords. You show me pain and heartbreak that is um, happening because you, you feel like something is inconsistent. You may feel like you're unsure. Confusion. Why is the queen? Look at that as I split the deck. The ace of cups is here again. And you almost feel like giving up at times. Let me shuffle one more time, Pisces. You're fighting an inner battle. I'm feeling like can't live with them, can't live without them. Tell me why the Queen of Pentacles is here. Because see, you've made it to some type of an achievement in your life here. As the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You have something that you've achieved in your life that it, that's very great. Okay? And you're wanting to move ahead. And you're wanting to move ahead in the right direction, the right way. And this soul connection that's came into your life here, it's it's kind of having has you at a stop here with the three of wands. And the hand comes out of the sky again. Do you want it? It shows up again. Even though it leaves, it comes back again. This love. this choice for some of you there's a block in communication with this person with the five pentacles showing up in the center of your reading and this person's going to come back around again see look you're up in your head about taking taking the risk with them aries energy is here with the fool and then you have your up in your head whether because this is an a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind next to Scorpio energy, next to death, or taking a risk. Because when this person comes back, there's a lot of yellow around this card. There's a lot of yellow around taking this risk. This person, when they're in your presence, you feel like maybe instantly healed from this pain, this heartbreak. Tell me about, but the most important thing is, is tell me about this lover. Tell me about this love, this offer that's coming out of the sky. Is this a test or is this the real thing? Yeah, that emperor is coming through here. There's an emperor here that, um, this is Aries energy, but they're trying to step into your world, all right? Whoever this person is, their intention, their goal is to be an emperor here, but they're not, it may be the wrong time, you know, the wrong place, but they're coming in and they're coming in strong and fast, 
All right, into, into your world here. This person knows what to say to tell me. This person, to give you a clue who this person is, um, this person may feel like they, like this person could be experiencing something in their life where they feel like they're at a dead end, like they've lost. Like we saw, we saw the, the bandaged head. Um, they're coming, they've come to you sad. They've come to you wounded. And this person could be saying, I, I want to, I want to work with you. I want to be with you. That's the type of energy. They're coming to you broken. And you're feeling stuck here in your mind. You're in hanged man energy, which is Pisces energy. Um, because the, the way this person's energy is showing up here. But you are the empress. That's why it's so confusing. Yeah, you're like up in your head here. When this person leaves your energy here and the five of pentacles is here, um, it leaves you like this with the nine of swords where you have a hard time sleeping. Um, you could block communication sometimes with this person, but you know their offer is still there. You know their their hand is still there, but you feel disappointed because you're looking at there's only three cups here. There's something in this connection that is making you think is this as good as it gets. And there's a lot of love here in this connection. And this is your choice. And so I, I really don't think there's a wrong or a right here. As much as I try to see it, I don't see a wrong decision or a right decision. But this is a general reading. And so the circumstances and the person that is showing up in this energy is not exactly the same for everyone. But this is a soul connection coming into Pisces energy right now. More than likely, this person's already here. All right, Pisces, thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys who leave me all of your beautiful comments and all the great energy that you send me. Um, I've just been getting a little bit kind of annoyed by... Um, the, the comments I get where they say, sometimes they say, just hearing about you talking about love is gross. It's making me sick. And it's like, well, why are you watching tarot? Because, um, this is one of the elements in the tarot deck is love, the cups. And... There's a lot of love here showing up. The Ace of Cups. You have this messenger showing in as the Knight of Cups. I mean, we have the Empress and the Emperor. All right, this person, you're going to your intuition's going to tell you they're not lying to you that they have this person will tell you they have a desire um, to be with you, a desire to grow with you, to sit by your side, to be there for the long run. So we have that devil energy there. So you're kind of, you know, that can be a little bit tricky in the mind because I feel like you have more to give. It may be financially or in some other area. You have more to give than this person. And so that may be playing games with your mind of whether this person's here for the wrong or the right reasons. In fact, let's look. Why is this emperor showing up in Pisces life? What is their true intentions?
What is this person? This may be um, a lot of energy here. Um, I really feel like this person has come into your life to... To learn something from you, Pisces. See this soul connection here is so strong. You've known this person before in a, in a previous lifetime. They feel familiar to you. Six of Wands is here and the Hermit. This person um, is going through the Hermit. They're like going through the dark night of the soul they may be a virgo this person some something inside of them is broken i just see it something bad has happened in their life and they've reached a crossroads and they've run into you at this time it would you know you look like this six of wands here like you look like um you got yourself together you look good I think I told you the Hermit is Virgo energy, um, but there's a there's an equal exchange here, all right? There's something that they have that they give to you, which is why the Devil energy is here, so that that can be good or bad depending on the person, but. There's something here that you give them and there's something here that this person gives to you. All right. And you are this king of swords. So you're very wise. And this person is coming to you looking for information as the page of swords here. It's like they watch you. Like, how did you get where you are? This person admires you. This person sees your beauty. They're very um, taken by you. They love being around you. They love being in your energy. But I feel like you're questioning this person, this person's motives. All right, you guys. And that is the energy that's showing up right here. I feel like on this map of the fool's journey... I'm feeling like you have ran into a very significant soul connection that you've known before in a previous lifetime. And this person, you know, they may have to go off. You will know and everybody's story will be different here. But this person may have to... It may be the right time you find each other. Like you could have met this person. You know, like if you talk to this person about how you met them, it, it's really coincidental. And how did this actually happen? How did we actually meet each other like this? And um, So it could be just the timing of the soulmate coming into your life at the wrong time and some type of lesson to be learned here. It's either that or you choose, you know, this love because here they come. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe. And just for being here with me, Pisces. And we'll meet back up here again tomorrow. Namaste.